so my film is called Yours and Sisterhood. Uh, it's a film uh, that's about having a conversation between now and 40 years ago around uh, feminism and uh, questions about feminism in the past and feminism now. I'm really moved. And, you know, this lady, whoever took the time to write, never thought she'd be in the unpublished, you know, sort of put in. But now, so whoever she is, I'm honored to transport or give life to her words. And I really thank her for writing on behalf of my family to and it put it in a to try to put it in a public forum. You know, I've made a lot of films that work with archival materials in different ways. Uh, and in many of my films, it actually uses materials from the archive. And I chose in this film not to show the archive at all. Um, so the film is, is actually people in the present reading these letters from 40 years ago and responding to them. And it's quite formally simple as, as a kind of film structure. Um, I mean, I think there's something to me that's very compelling and important about uh, the way that it feels to embody something from a long time ago. So I'm really inviting people to put someone else's words in their body and to speak someone else's words and to um, quite literally kind of embody something about the past in the present. I also think, you know, people think about the past as static and actually the past is continuously changing and looks different depending on where you're standing in the present when you look at the past. Um, but I think the past absolutely helps us to think about and understand the present. and. You know, especially around feminism and, and in, the, in the U.S. especially right now, it's a very, um, a very lively and, and strong conversation right now. So when I started making this film uh, four years ago, nobody was thinking about feminism and no, certainly nobody was thinking about 1970s feminism. So it's true that it's a very interesting moment to be finishing this film where really it feels like there's been a big shift toward kind of a really public conversation about feminism uh, that was very quiet and much more invisible four years ago. Um, so on one hand, yes, I think you could say that, uh, that feminism is coming back and that we're talking about it and thinking about it again. Um, but also I think it's, it's, we're in a very different moment and kind of uh, what kind of feminism we need now has changed and also the ways that we have conversations feel very different now from 40 years ago. Yeah, I mean, you know, the media now, obviously there's, uh, you can reach people very quickly and, and the internet is very powerful that way. Um, the magazine that my film is about, Ms. Magazine, was the only kind of mainstream space to have a conversation about feminist issues. Um, so actually everyone who had anything to say everywhere in the country from any kind of side of the political spectrum, um, they were all writing to one magazine and they were all trying to speak with each other and engage in dialogue across quite a lot of difference. And I think we don't see that now in the same way. So even though we can reach kind of million, millions of people very quickly, um, I think uh, conversation is happening very fast now and happening in a much more fragmented way. And it's in a way, ironically, I think more difficult to have a really um, good conversation across differences.